Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. And I'm going to set up a diamond painting today. So I'm actually going to set up a few um, in this storage. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up one at a time on a row and then use those for my next few projects. So this is the first one that I need to do. So let me find the diamonds for it. So this is a hexagon flower one from Fan Cells. Um, and this one actually does not have DMC numbers on the packet or on the diamond painting itself. So this should be a nice quick one. However, I have left my stickers in the other room, so I'll be back. Okay, so let's try that again. <laughs> so I now have uh, my stickers and I'm using round pots, so I'm gonna use some of my circle stickers. And quite simply on this one, all I need to do is do the symbols and they all look very easy, to be honest. So we have one, two, three, four, five, Good start. Six, seven, and then we have eight, nine. Now I'm going to need some more stickers, but um, then we have a greater than an equals a capital E, and then to start on the next sheet we have a G, a H. And okay, so that is quite simply labelled up. This is definitely going to be a quick one. Um, so let me find a pair of scissors. This is a round, um, and I want to do this one because this one is sort of in a hexagon shape, which I think is a little bit different. I might have to get some more mount boards so to see how mount I mount these, or. Um, I might actually just still pop it in my display folder. So I'm just going to cut a couple of the packets up because I know that the numbers 1 to 9 equal the numbers 1 to 9 on the packet. So it's quite simple for the first few in regards to which ones that they go in. So it saves me picking up and putting down the scissors all the time so I like to label my pots from the bottom uh, but that is just because the way they always tend to sit on my uh, little mini Raskog cart it's not actually called a Raskog the mini one but I can't remember what it is called um, they tend to sit on that cart and um, so I always look from the bottom and then up um, Everybody's different, but that's the way I tend to look when I'm doing this type of diamond painting. So let me get all my labels stuck on because because I am working with small bottles. Oh, I'm smudging them though. Um, if I do need to move them around, I can always do that afterwards. If I need to put say two colours into one bottle or anything like that, I can always move them later. Okay, so it only has 16 colours in this one, so this will probably be a very quick kitting up, but we'll start off with the one I grab hold of first, which is number nine. I think the one I'm going to have a lot of is the white, because Oh, I'll just get my little pot that I tend to use just to keep all my rubbish out of the way. Um, yeah, I seem to have quite a few paintings that have a white background. For some reason, it's better than it having a black background. But I actually quite like occasionally doing paintings with a lot of the same colour in the background. I can just switch off and just pour out a load of white diamonds and just keep going and sometimes that's what I prefer and then when I want something a little bit more complicated 
I do the other colours in the picture. Sort of depends on my mood. Okay, so number six. But we've got a lot of nice pinks in here. Got a rogue one. And then five. That is a lot of shades of pink. I like it when there's a lot of shades. Though I kind of wish they'd have the DMC number on them. But anyway, what are you guys working on at the moment? Um, of you kit up anything recently or maybe you're working on a really big project that doesn't need a kitting up. Um, I've chosen to kit up and select quite a few small paintings to sort of do at once. Um, I'm, I'm not doing them all today, the day, as in the day I'm filming. Um, I am going to spread them out over a few days but then they are going to be my next projects. And that will sort of keep me busy and means because they're smaller paintings when they're well I'm, I'm actually going to mix in a big painting as well so I'm actually going to kit up three small paintings and then one bigger painting with the idea that I can flip between each one depending on my mood and I can do a little bit of the big one and then do a smaller one and then do a big one do a small one, you know so the big one will get done over the same time period that the small one gets done that's my plan anyway and I feel like it's while I enjoy working on big paintings um, sometimes I do just want to change it up a bit so by actually doing both I get the excitement of both and if I want to continue with the bigger one you know for longer than the section I've designated then that's fine too I do that as well but this is an older um well I say older it's not an older painting um it is a painting I've had for a bit so E is number 12 um it is a painting I've had for a while this is one that I actually picked up from fan cells when I did a big order that wasn't unboxed on camera. So provided that it's still available, I will of course link it below. Okay, so the letter G is my white. So let me see if I can get one packet into it. Oh, I can. Well, that's easier. So what I'm actually going to do, because I am doing three paintings, up, well, I am kitting up three or four paintings in one tub. Because there is only this one colour that has more than one bag, ooh, helps if I get all the diamonds out. I'm actually just, because it is white as well, there's no confusion involved. Well, there might be, but at the minute there's not. Um, I'm just going to include the extra pots but I'm not even going to label them up they're just going to be spares and it's the only colour that's close to white so it shouldn't be a problem and I'm holding my scissors in completely the wrong way any children watching put your scissors down don't wave them about in your hand like I'm doing they're not sharp but it's definitely not the way it should be done and there we go so the last one oh it's only 15 colors sorry not 16 even less so that is 15 colors done and dusted that didn't take long at all did it um so that is that one kitted up it's not going to take long to de-kit this one either because we don't have dmc numbers so they'll just get thrown in um, let me just grab my cover sheets because they're also not in here because I'm very organised today and we'll get this covered up. Okay, so this is my other, um, excuse me, this is my other passport holder. This holds my top cover sheets that I've cut in half. 
I'll be sure to link them down below as well if they're available. This is going to be fun because this is a hexagon shape. So I'm only doing this roughly and I do allow them to overlay a bit. I tend to readjust as I'm working on it um, as to what suits you know the amount of time I've got and I'll, I'll straighten it up and make sure that the whole painting looks or the lines that I'm cutting off look straight but for the purposes of preparing the painting it's just enough to make sure that it's covered up so we needed about three for that one and then it did use about three rows but I've got smaller sections so look at all that white <laughs> so what I'll probably find is I will tip a load of white out um, and I will start at either the top or the bottom and I will probably just do that whole strip of three and I'll just do all the white and then I'll do the little bit of another colour and I'll just repeat that as I go down um, and as and when I'm done with the sheets they'll go in here so that is my first of three smaller paintings kitted up um, I'm going to get my mess and stuff cleared up um, but I've got a painting to start working on now which is great and once I've got my large painting kitted up which I might do next um, I can then intermingle and do a small one slash a bit of the bigger one and mix and match it up as I go along but thank you so much for watching um, any questions do ask them in the comments below and I will get to them as soon as I can but I will speak to you all again soon Thank you.